we're going to look at how we can take per a percent of a number. And in these first few questions, we're going to do this using our head. So we're going to try to do this without a calculator. And it's good to try to, to do these sorts of questions, if you can, without a calculator. Um, because that that's using our understanding of what we know instead of just punching some numbers in on the calculator. Towards the end of this video, I will show you how to do that because sometimes the questions get quite difficult to do um, without the use of a calculator. But for now, let's see if we can do these ones. Sometimes we call this using mental math, which is really just using. So 50% of 80. So percent of a number. 50% of 80. Well, 50% of course means half. If you think of the hundredths grid, 50% would be shading half of that hundredths grid. So if what are really what we're saying here is what is half of 80? Well, if you had 80 things and you took half of them, you'd be left with 40. So I think that one's fairly easy to do in our head, 50% of 80. Now, how about this one? 10% of 60. Now, this one's a little bit trickier. But what we can do is we can do things like this. Well, if we know that 100% of 60, say the question was that, what's 100% of 60? Well, 100% of 60 means all of 60. So 100% of 60 would be 60. Well, if we want 10% of 60, then what did I do? I just took the 100 and I divided by 10, because 100 divided by 10 is 10. So if I take 60 and I divide it by 10, 60 divided by 10 would be 6. So 10% of 60 would be 6, because if I did 6 times 10, 6 times 10 is 60. So that's how we can use mental math. So 10% of 60 is 6. What if we had 1% of 800? Again, we know that 100% of 800 is 800. So 100% of 800 would be all of it, which is 800. I want 1% of 800. So all I have to do is divide by 100. 100 divided by 100 is 1. So 1% 9, 1 of 800 would simply be 800. Also divide this side by 100. So 1% 1 of 800 would be 8. Now what about 1.5%? 1.5% of 200. Well, let's... Let's start with this 2. So we know that, whoops, we know that 100% of 200 is 200. And so if I want to know what 1% is, so I got to divide by 100. So 1% 1 of 200 divide this side by 100. 200 divided by 100 is 2. So 1% 1 of 200 is 2. I don't want 1%. I also I want 1.5%. But 1.5% is really just 1% plus 0.5%. So I've already got the 1%. 1% 1 of 200 is 2. What I need is I need a half percent. What is a half percent? Well, we've already got 1%. So to go to a half of a percent, if I take this and divide it by 2, because 1 divided by 2 is a half, so then I must divide the other side by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if 1% 1 of 200 is 2, then a half a percent of 200 must equal 1. So that means 1.5%, which would be 1% 1 plus a half percent, would be... 2 plus 1, which is 3. So 1.5% 1 of 200 is 3. So it's a little bit tricky, but um, if you set up your questions like this, you can actually do these questions not too bad. 
Now, uh, what if we what if we wanted to find 250 percent of 30? Again, we can always start with this 100. We know that 100 percent of 30 is 30. That's a that's a true. I don't want 100 percent. I want 250 percent. Well, I could say okay, 200 percent. I could go times two. times 2. So 100 times 2 is 200. 30 times 2 is 60. So that means 200% of 30 is 60. I've got to find 250%. But that's just 200 plus 50. So 250% would be 200% plus 50%. So I've already figured out what 200% of 30 is. That's going to be 60. What I need to know is what is 50%. Well, if I start again at 100%, of 30 equals 30. Then if I want to know what is 50%, all I've done is I've divided by 2. So when I divide by 2 on this side, 30 divided by 2 is 15. So 50% 50 of 30, or half of 30, is 15. So 250% is 200%, so double this, that's 60, plus half, 50% of that, which is 15, and 60 plus 15 would be 75. So 250% of 30 would be 75. So those are a few questions where we can um, do them in our head using, using some mental math. But let's look at now how we might need to use a calculator to do some ones that don't work out quite as nice. So 17% of 23 is going to be very difficult to do using mental math. But not so hard to do if we have a calculator. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to convert this, convert the percent to a decimal. So this is why we spent that time learning about how to do all these things. So converting 17% to a decimal, remember when we go from a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100, or move the decimal to the left two places. So that would be 0 0.17. And then of means multiply. So this is 0 0.17 times 23. And so this is our calculator question, which we'll get up. So 0 0.17, 0 0.17 times 23 is 3.91. So 17% of 23 is 3.91. Let's do another one. How about 21.4% of 16.9? We're not going to be able to do this one in our head, but using... Um, what we know about conversions from percents to a decimal. This should not pose us too much of a challenge. So 21.4%, converting that to a decimal, divide by 100. So 0 0.214 would be 21.4% of means times 16.9. Now we get the calculator out. So 0.214 times 16.9. So this is going to give us 21.4% of 16.9 is 3.6. I always like to round it two decimal places, so 3.62 would be the final answer there. That would be 21.4% of 16.9. And in this final example, let's say we had to find 122% of $43. So I need to convert my percent to a decimal. So take the decimal point here and the percentage and move it to the left two places. So that's 1.22. So 122%, remember that'll be more than one as a decimal. So 1.22 is what we get of means times 43 Go to the calculator. 1.22 times 
43 would be fifty-two dollars and forty-six cents because I made this a, a money question. Fifty-two forty-six. So let's just summarize again how we can find the percent of a number. So to find the percent of a number, one way we could determine that is to use mental math or our brains. So if it was a fairly simple one, like what's 150% of, uh, what's say 40? Well, I know that 100% of 40 is 40 and 50% of 40 or half of 40 is 20. So I know that 150% is 100% plus 50%. 150 percent, 100 plus 50, so 100 percent of 40 is 40, and half of 40, or 50 percent of 40, is 20, so 40 plus 20 would be 60. Or the other thing that we can do is we could convert the percent to a decibel and multiply the numbers. So if we did that same example, oops, if we did that same example, so 150 percent of 40 I would first of all have to divide by 100, so that's 1.50. Now I've converted 150% to a decimal of means times, and I would go to the calculator and go 1.5 times 40 and get an answer of 60. So that's how we find percent of a number.